Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Base Anton Yugi channel. Here today I will talk about and will show you mostly my deck profile of Trickster Sky Striker deck that I have been playing for the last months. That is a very 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 good deck and I also like its versatility and so I will show you what cards I do play, what is the strategy of the of the of the deck. So I think we can begin. I think this deck I also used for the OTS tournament uh, tournament store. It went pretty good. I almost every time get top four with it. So let's start. Well, obviously I get with three trickster candinas, the searchers of the trickster deck. I think they are pretty good because they can search whatever you need, either a monster or either a or either a card or trickster card, and also you can recycle it a lot. So I think it's pretty good and has a good attack. Although it also has the secondary effect that it's pretty good using against like uh, decks like Alter Jaste or the Alter Haste or the Palisoic ones or even Pendle. So they suffer a lot with having this on the field. Later on I have three trickster Lycoris, Trickster Lycoris. So I think this is the touch of the deck. I think they are pretty strong because they let you recycle any monster, any trickster monster you had in the field. Like it can be Candina, so you can uh, have back it in your hand and, and use the same strategy to normal summon and add whatever you want. And also have in this format, in the meta format, all decks almost add something from the deck to their hand. It's pretty good having it on the field to <laughs> burn your opponent's life points. And also I have, we play with one Trickster Lilibel. It's pretty good, I think it's very, very powerful card, even having when you normal summon it or special summon with the Trickster Reincarnation and you can pop the attack directly and then recycle Licorice to again attack with it. I just play one before in the in the pure trickster deck I played with two because I had pot of desires and I just wanted to have one to draw but in this deck I think one is enough and it does all what it needs. For the Sky Striker I play with two Sky Striker rays I don't know if you can see it. They are pretty good why I play them in a Sky Trickster Sky Striker deck because I think they are good when you don't have your Sky Striker strategy out. You draw this and you normal summon and you can have that later on in the, in the graveyard to recycle you, your plays with the Sky Strikers and also as she special summons herself after a Sky Striker Link monster gets destroyed. It's pretty good to use as it is one of the main strategy of the deck to have her recycled and special as many link monsters as you can so this is great for the hand traps obviously i play with the combo of the trickster incarnation that is the draw and luck bird it's a very powerful card in this meta why because it's simply stops any deck that now adds like sky strikers trickster themselves goki even outer hates and polosoic when they need and with the Trickster Incarnation combo, it's just pretty awesome. I think this card ju just now got its potential at full because before it was just like a strategy that no one used, it, but pretty good it now. Also, of course, playing with two Ice Blossoms, the main strategy to stop place of Gokis, play stops that special summons from the deck or maybe use the foolish for the palisoic deck for with the swap frog uh, also i use it to stop any any goki strategy at most or any even the trickster the trickster incarnation one so <laughs> my opponent don't banish my hand but i get with my hand that i need for that moment and also i play with one ghost ogre why just one because i think 
it's good as well too i think it's too much in this deck you don't need to pop up so much monsters or so much spell and trap cards in in the game and just you pop up one monster that gives its effect it's good but just one i don't think you need more and also obviously a phantom sky blaster uh, why phantom sky blaster obviously because he can do tokens to make your link summons at best use as many monsters as you can and i think it's pretty powerful this card maybe in the next format in the next months it will get even stronger having potential to summon even summon sorcerers when she comes out so i don't know this card maybe one day <laughs> will be in the ban list but we hope not for the spell cards of course let's see this trickster trickster sky striker deck obviously we play with three trickster light stage the very good field why because you can add any any monster you need maybe if you don't draw the candina or you draw a li uh, licorice you can just use this to to add the candina and to protect her with the effect of any effect veilers or ogre just anything and also it does uh, 200 additional damage that is pretty good it lets you kill the your opponent very quickly uh, obviously to terraforming just for searching most of the time for searching the trickster light stage uh, it's pretty good when you have a terraforming and a light stage because you can add two monsters at one time and i think it's also good because <laughs> you can just do all your plays with it good card obviously the sky striker engage the best card of the deck and the best card of the format i think it's just pretty powerful you can add anything of the sky strikers and even have a draw additional draw for having two, three or more spells in the graveyard and i obviously will, will play with two but now i don't have two just play with one but it always served me a lot because i can't if i don't draw with nehada i can see she with shizuku and shizuku does for the next turn i can use the engage and do all the play i need it's awesome pretty good card obviously the one that has it's in the band list the sky striker mecha horn drones one because you can only play one pretty great card you do all your link plays with it if you have it in your in your first hand you just can win because this does everything i think it's probably why it's in the band uh, two sky striker maneuver after burners why i play with two because sometimes i don't i want to draw them because i have some big monsters that i can uh, destroy with the trickster monsters or even with the with the links one and i just need someone or something to destroy them and, and i can f have the field open so i can do the otk two i always um, at least draw one because they're pretty good and it's not even once per turn so i think they they are great also have the jamming ways cool card against alter jaste against Palisoic, just or just any deck that plays back row you just pop out it and destroy anything you you, you want cool also shark cannon why because i think it's pretty good even in these days the decks that use graveyard like alter haste and and Palisoic, you can just remove anything they they need from the graveyard and then or you can switch to someone to the set and they just don't get any play or they just can't get out of it it's pretty good um multi-roll obviously multi-roll because i use spells and then i can set them pretty good uh two i will just play in the pure sky striker deck in this deck i think just one is great obviously the fields the field spell of the sky strikers they are a zero i just mostly play for the combo with the multi-roll just sending it with the multi-roll so i can special summon uh, the ray so i can i don't need to just waste a normal summon of, of the of the sky striker or the, of the trickster and so i can do all my plays 
more quickly. It's just pretty awesome if you if you get this combo in the first hand, as you can have a pretty strong field. For the tags, two scapegoats. Scapegoats are just insane in this format, and when the link format has came into the TCG, I think this is pretty good. Scapegoats, they let me win a lot of games. You just do it in the end phase, and obviously, always, always when you have just a licorice in the field, you just use it and you do all the Ningris combo. It's pretty awesome. I think it's one of the best cards. I don't know if white is at two. I think it could be at one, but we should we should use it a lot more a lot more. Uh, two called by the grave, obviously for the hand traps. And why two? Because I always get scared by cards like hand traps like Ash, Ogre, or or Jordan Log that can't just. I blow out my strategy, so when I use it, it's pretty. It's I, I almost win every time that I use it because I I just re remove negate effect and then I just do all the strategy that I need. The call by the grave, I just think think it's awesome. I think also it lets you pop up monsters that are in the graveyard that are disturbing you much, but. I think mostly it's for the hunters, but it's pretty great. I love it. And for a rock strategy, the card destruction, it after the it got the saved from the ban list, it got out. I think it's pretty good in this trickster deck. Why? Because sometimes maybe you don't get a hand that you need, and you just use it so you can throw anything you you want it. And that's pretty good. I think it's one of the best strategies that you can do when you have a bad hand. That's for the spells and for the traps. Obviously, three trickster reincarnation. For the strategies, this card is insane. Having blow up all your opponent's hand, they just can't recover from it. And if you get two in in the field and use the two, you just make them vanish almost most, more than 10 cards and they, they lost almost all their deck strategy and also you can revive special summon any trickster it's pretty badass um, mostly with the strategy with the lily bell so you can recycle it and attack it's awesome it's awesome this card <clears throat> obviously two solemn strikes why because you need to pop up effects or even destroy monsters that get special summon like goki and this card helped me a lot to destroy this, these monsters that disturb me or maybe kill me in the storm. So I just use it and <laughs> let all the play go to the drain. <laughs> and so I think this should be should be a three. But now I have two and I'm happy with. It. And for one, I have the waking the dragon. Why waking the dragon? Because I think it's pretty good when sometimes the opponent doesn't doesn't wait it he just pops out thinking it's something else and you pop it with the waking dragon and you have your extra sound uh, free you get your raid raptor monster and they it's game because they don't have a strategy to get over it that's it that it's for the main deck i now go for the Extra deck. So the extra deck composes of one trickster holy angel. Why? Because it's a trickster monster. Sometimes you can use it when you should destroy a monster that has a high attack. I don't always use it. I used in a few strategies, but it's good. It's good. And I think with one it's normal. Two Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Uh, why with two? Because you only need two in this deck. Obviously, it's three in the sky and pure sky striker, but two, it's most used because you don't use as don't use it as as many times as you used before when the token was a three. Now it's just for just recycling some sky striker cards. But I think it's pretty good when you can recover your afterburner or your even your engage and get all your strategy on and attack with a lot of a lot of damage. It's great, great card. 
Chisuko to, to also too because she's a uh, played because she's a great uh, searcher when you don't have your engage in hand or any card sky striker card that you need you can just search it and let her in the field she's pretty strong because of the continuous effect of of leveling down the attack and defense of the of all its monsters of the, all your opponent monsters <laughs> many 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 monsters of your opponent can can just take her out they they have a hard time Shizuku is great uh, one sky striker hayate one because you can attack directly with her and send any any <laughs> any sky striker spell that you need in the graveyard and after that you can do Kagari, so you can recover the spell that you sent, and also she attacks directly, so it's pretty bad as you get your opponent a great hit that they get their their life points very low, and you can just kill them with the trickster strategy. Then is the combo, the Ningiritsu, the World Chalice Warrior, with the Ip, the World Chalice Price. It's used also, uh, mostly with the Scapegoat and the Licorice, because they interact very well. This card is just insane. When you do with Ip, uh, you draw one card, addition, one additional card, and you also send any card that you want to the graveyard. <laughs> it's great because this card doesn't target, and many monsters are protect for protect because they can't be targeted. But this just sends them out. I remember just having sent this with this uh, and Diabolos. Or a Borelot or anything, and they just can do anything. Even a Crystal Wing went down with this because they can protect him. And with Ip in the field, it's just amazing. She protects him from from being destroyed from battle effects, uh, from battle of, or card effects, and she and herself while linked, she also uh, gets a protection. For the strategy, I also have Top Logic Risbaena, great card. Great back row destroyer. I remember having a normal summon to then Kosek and then done this. <laughs> and my opponent just couldn't do anything. It's I could banish all, all their cards and they they just reset all the damage and also they couldn't set anything. An ultra haste suffers a lot with this. Even a trickster deck suffers a lot with that. Great card. Uh, for the Nightmare combo, I have Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Cerberus. Uh, why I play with Cerberus? Mostly because many of the times the opponent can special summon a monster to their normal for their main monster monster zone, and you can pop out and send any card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you get a good link or or calling the monsters, you can draw an additional card. It's pretty good, I think, to pop out a monster and even have uh, an additional draw. And also, for instance, it helps you to get from monsters with high attack that tricksters can do it. And I think it's good. And Phoenix, obviously, for the back row, it's insane. Phoenix is one of the best Nightmare monsters I think there are. After <laughs> Unicorn, uh, pretty good. Unicorn also will be great here. Also, I have the combo with the proxy dragon and link spider. It's for the Le Ip and Ingeriso combo. So I can do it with the scapegoat link spider, then using two proxy dragon, then use a token and do Ip. And with the two, you do Ningiris. Good cards used for the strategy. Obviously, one link Kuribo. Sometimes I get used to it too. with the scapegoats to protect myself or just open a a song that I need when I need to special summon a link monster to my field. And it's great, I think it's a uh, good card and also protects you from high attacks. And I love it. And for the last, we have the Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Obviously, it forces the Waking the Dragon uh, strategy. It's a pretty great card, pretty high attack. Just an amazing effect that it gets. It doesn't and uh, it's. It's unaffected by other cards effects, so they can't do anything to him. It's very difficult to 
to kill him and the opponents just get very get a difficult time to to get him out of the field he's so great i i like him a lot and these are the tokens obviously used for the scapegoats and for the side deck i have Uh, one lava golem. Why I play with this? Because in the last formats I got to see that many decks can get two or more monsters in the field. Mostly pendulums now today also get like two or three monsters that you can just blow out and you just give them lava golem and you get out of like vortex dragon or any or the or the Norito. So it's I think it's a good monster removal. I don't use it a lot, but in the strategies sometimes it gets a good use. Two Denko Sekas obviously for the Bagro decks like Alter Jaste and and Palosoix, they get a difficult time, mostly Palosoix because they can do it with anything, they can kill it. And other case obviously can get out with Melosic, but sometimes if they already use the Melosic and you draw it and you pull, put it in normal summon your field, you won. Obviously, because she she just stops them. Uh, two Komungos, the Sticky Street Kaiju, I will play with. With Turtle one, but I couldn't get it, so I play with this. Pretty good card, mostly to get rid of of crystal wings or any monster that star uh, disturbs me in the in in the in the field i think with two it's pretty good it has a good attack not so high so you can pop him out and destroy two sherry right obviously for the sky strikers decks even trickster or any deck that adds goki against goki this is pretty good you just use it and you have a lot of hand that in the Trickster and the Sky Striker decks, it's just awesome. Just have so many cards in the hand, and I think you should you should use it as a main because nowadays a lot of cards search a lot. It's pretty great. I, I love it. One Twin Twister, obviously for back row removal. You just pop anything. Good card. Two Dimensional Barrier. Why I play with this? Because I can't stop some decks that use a lot of pendulum summoning or a fusion summoning or sequence summoning so sometimes i just need to stop them and like get them out it was also used a lot uh, to for abc because abc was was a problem nowadays i think it's not as does as much as it could but i think it i still could could be used Two red reboots, obviously this card out kills alter shade. It's pretty damn. They <laughs> if you draw it and you have it in your hand and you have all the trickster or TK, or TK combo or the sky striker, and they just activate any trap. You do this, you just kill them. They they just, just can do anything. They they mostly most of the time surrender and they and many times it gives game. It's good. It's great one of the most good side cards I have ever seen. One Imperial Iron Wall. I think nowadays it doesn't it doesn't get used anymore, maybe for Infernoids or some decks that vanish, but I think I probably would cut it out from the side deck, but still it's still useful. And spell fragments obviously for the pendulum decks. Why I play it sometimes because I already can use it the pendulum, the my spell effects, and then stop the pendulums and they can do anything. Great card. And for last and not least, mind crash. Mind crash is great, great card. I think for the decks that you chose, like Goki, like Trickster, like Sky Strikers, it stops their, their plays. And nowadays I will play with more of them because it's a lot more useful than most of the cards that I have inside. So that is for my Trickster Sky Striker deck profile after the ban list. I hope you like it. Get uh, give me a like, subscribe if you like it, and.
Thank you for a lot and goodbye.